Officially available today is a new software update for your Mac which happens to be Mac OS Sequoia 15.6.1 and in this video I'm simply going to be telling you everything you need to know about this software update. In order to see this update if you go into your system settings and you go to the software update notifications that you receive or you, if you go to the general path you will notice that for me Mac OS Sequoia 15.7 shows up and that's because I'm actually enrolled into the developer beta of Sequoia so in order to get the non beta version which is the one that was released today you would have to turn off the developer or the public beta and then if you click done Mac OS Sequoia 15.6.1 shows up keep in mind that if you're on Mac OS Tahoe 26 public betas or developer betas you actually won't be able to see this update you only be able to see the latest public or developer beta of Mac OS 26 and since in this case you would be on a higher version of Mac OS you would technically need to reboot your device into recovery mode and then restore a non beta version of Mac OS and then once you restore depending on the version that you restore to then you would have to go into your settings and then look for the software update page and be able to update to this new version that we have today. For me on my M4 Mac mini you can see the software update it comes in at a pretty small update size 1.56 gigs and I was updating from Mac OS 15.6 now just to keep you in the loop this is not all Apple released you can see they released some other updates such as iOS and iPad OS 18.6.2 and they also released all the versions of Mac OS such as Mac OS 14.7.8 Mac OS 13.7.8 and an older version of iPad OS which is iPad OS 17.8. 8.10 so most of these updates that you see here I do cover here on the channel at Huffman Aftech so if you want to keep up to date then definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out now what I'm quickly going to do is update my device to this new version that we have and then we're going to look at the new software changes among other changes that this update has to offer just like that my Mac has now been updated to the latest public version of Sequoia that's now available but there's something interesting that's kind of conflicting that I want to show you so if you look at the Apple developer page about the releases that were released today Wednesday August 20 you can see that Apple actually mentions Mac OS 15.6.2 and they mention this build number now this is kind of confusing because even 9 to 5 Mac mentions that Mac OS 15.6.2 has been released and it you know makes sense that Apple would release Mac OS 15.6.2 since they released iOS 18.6.2 it makes sense if you look at the sequential order but we've never actually received Mac OS 15.6.1 and this exact update that Apple is calling Mac OS 15.6.2 with this exact build number is actually Mac OS 15.6.1 and we can verify that because it's the one that I received and updated so if we go to the software update page you can see Mac OS Sequoia 15.6.2 and my Mac is up to date when I have the beta uh, off and if we go to the about this Mac section and click on the more info tab you can see this section that talks about Mac OS version you can see the build number Mac OS 15.6.1 one with this build 24G90. So Apple did make a typo and instead of Mac OS 15.6.1 they wrote a point two. but maybe the guy that was just updating the Apple page or on the server back end they just went with the sequential order but that's just something interesting that I should point out in case you see an article from 9 to 5 Mac about Mac OS 15.6.2 this is Mac OS 15.6.1 it's the current latest version and the point two isn't up isn't out yet when it comes to Mac OS for me on this M4 Mac mini that I used to test these updates Mac OS is taking 21.45 gigs and if we click on the more info tab Apple intelligence is taking 11.36 gigs and you can see the build number like I mentioned for Mac OS 15.6.1 and people have always asked about my system data why it's always so small and that's because this is actually my test device it's not one that I use on a daily and I mainly use it to test just stable updates so 
I'm not using it to test like Mac OS 26 betas right now because those are highly unstable and that's why maybe my system data is really small but there's other softwares out there that you can use to reduce your system data if it becomes too large or you can delete some system files that are unused. In terms of what's actually new with this update, the first thing that I have to mention is that typically with double pointed updates, Apple tends to focus more on security and stability and less on new features or changes. And that's the case with this one. It focuses more on stability and security improvements. If we go to the Apple security release, you can see when it comes to Mac with Sequoia 15.6.1 released today, you can see what Apple tells us about this. There's an issue that has been re resolved or that has been patched and it has to do with image IO and it says available for Mac with Sequoia impact processing a malicious image file may result in memory corruption and Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against targeted individuals and the description mentions an out of bound right issue was addressed with improved bound checking and this CVE was found by Apple and this is the case of the CVE entry number. It's always good to have updates like this that don't provide new features but rather make the updates that we already have much more safer and stable and this is one of them and if this wasn't actually a big issue maybe Apple could have skipped macOS 15.6.1 because a few days ago, I believe just two days ago, Apple actually released macOS 15.7, the release candidate number three. So Apple could have just technically skipped this and released 15.7 like next week. But since this needed to obviously be addressed, you can see that, yeah, it is an issue and Apple, I guess, saw the need to be able to address this security vulnerability. Alongside this update, Apple also released Safari Technology Preview 226, which include bug fixes and updates across CCS and Canvas. And if you're wondering what this update is for, there was an issue that had to do with Safari tabs, which seems to have been addressed for me. I was wasn't experiencing it to a large degree so the issue was with the address or search bar where it would stop opening after opening the website and you could only use the right click to open the tab but after updating it doesn't seem to be an issue for me and it was only affecting users that have the compact in the tabs selected as the preferred options but if you have it set as separate it shouldn't really be an issue and it seems like that's part of the reason why Apple released this new Safari technology preview which you can download and be able to try it out. On the other hand if you're looking for the full installer for this software update that we've been talking about it's now available and you can download it as a PKG file and at the same time if you want to download and try out the new Safari technology preview 226 you can also download it. I'll leave links to it directly to Apple servers where you can download it and be able to try out the full installer so other than that that's about it for me that's how this update came in you can see it's a pretty minor update more of a bug fix and stability improvement update one thing that i noticed a lot of people don't like about how apple has been releasing these updates recently is that they seem to release a lot of consecutive updates and not just compile them together and space them more apart because for system admins who manage a lot of devices it's a lot of devices and updates to update and if apple keeps you know updating an update today another one next week it's really hard to keep up but at the same time it's always good to get these updates that fix uh, vulnerability issues and at the same time we used to get quite a number of security responses so when you go into your system update you have this section you know that say talks about security responses where you can allow Apple to push a security update without actually having to update the version that you are on and it seems like Apple is just focusing less and less when it comes to the rapid response update which isn't 
technically a good thing but for system admins i think it will be a better alternative and at the same time you can see what they tell us when it comes to this update which isn't much that's it for me for now when it comes to mac os 15.6.1 Remember, it's a point 0.1, not a point 0.2. Um, with regards to the next update that we'll technically be seeing since we are on a weekly release cycle for Mac OS 26, you know, you can expect the next beta to come out on Monday. I believe it's going to be beta 8. So Monday, I'll be covering that. And if you want to see that, do hit like and subscribe so that you stay up to date. My name is Ben and I'm signing off. Peace.